Well done, Walterton and Elgin Action Group. This is our home for the count for the tenants. Yes, it does not. 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 Well done, well done. Right. Okay. <laughs> we did it. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, Derek, I've got about sort of um, seven. 70 people from the Walterton and Elgin Action Group here in the office at the moment. I, I'm actually being filmed as I talk to you uh, on telephone. Um, just thought I'd sort of ring you up and, and say I'm not quite sure what the position is I'm supposed to adopt on this. I have Well, there's a man with his fingers in everybody's pie. I hope he watches some of them sometimes. He talks for money by talking, he eats. He talks to keep himself up of the streets. Well, if there's anything you need, he'll pretend he's got it. And then he'll pretend that he can't part with it. He started hunger like a lawyer studies law. He can make a rich man poor and poor, because he's a shark. Slag on, a two-ton gobble in a money grabber is a shark. Slag on, a two-ton gobble in a money grabber. Well, it makes two look just like three. With a jiggery poker in Make a bad thing look good to me With a jiggery poker in Contract to sign, you could be signing a will. They used to rob you with a gun, now they use a pencil. Words knock you up, cause words don't bend. So all you get when you sign is the fountain pen. And for father to mother, and sister to brother, and cousin to uncle, got to stick to each other. Since cheating has grown to be so much the fashion, I believe cheating runs the whole nation. We're sharks, sluggers, two-tongue double dealing, a money grabber, he's a shark. Slugger, a two-tongue double dealing, a money grabber, well, it makes two look just like free. With a jiggery poker in, make a bad thing. think their plan is for a place like this then? Oh, it's redevelopment. It's going to be. It's all being redeveloped. All the, all the iron doors that are up, they are gutting them out. They are revitalising. Because I mean, in these flats, you've got the bathroom in the kitchen. Okay, you've got the toilet in the kitchen. Near enough. I mean, they're really terrible flats. What they're doing now is they're just going to try and kick everyone out. They're offering them money, and then they're going to do them all out. It's going to take years. It's going to take a long time. But eventually, it's going to be sold to people who can afford to buy because at Westminster area you've got the Houses of Parliament you've got Buckingham Palace you're, you're in an expensive area and that's what they want and they want rich people to so live kick in the this working area class out. and just get get us the low lives as you would call it get us out and once we're out then they can put the rich people in we've got residents here from the Waterton estate in North Paddington from the Lewis and Green Estate in Marylebone, where they have boarded up flats. From the Page Street Estate, just round the corner from here, where whole floors of flats are being kept boarded up by the council. Well, there are hundreds and thousands of people in Westminster. Can we have a small gentleman? That's it. And next gentleman, just here, please. Thank you very much. Could I have a smile again, would you like? That's it, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Okay. Can we make you a service? Yeah. I thought it was going to be like a Christmas cake and be full of goodies that would make Christmases. Yes. <laughs> okay, all happy? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm part of David Peebles.
what sort of tenants do you see enjoying the facilities that you have on offer here? The what ordinary are... people who live in the city of Westminster, the people whose families may have lived here generation from generation, and who wish to remain living and working in the city. This is an opportunity for ordinary working people, and that's why it's so important and frankly so exciting. Are you aware of the council's designated sales policy? Yes. What do you see it offering you any benefits and advantages? Not really. John Wheeler, who's the MP for North Westminster, this mm. area, has said that it's a policy for the ordinary people no, of Westminster. Not. What ordinary people of Westminster? I mean, like, take, take St Mary's Hospital. They knocked that down. Now they're talking about building £300,000 luxury flats. Who in Paddington's got that kind of money? They probably wouldn't be living in Paddington if they had that kind of money. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. The places that they're building, not for people that live in Westminster, or people that live in Paddington, it's for anybody, anybody who's got the money, that's it. Any blind people could see the council wants to get rid of all, all the tenants. That's a deal. Because nowadays, if this block is empty, they would never send uh, tenants here. They'll look for a buyer to buy this, this flat here, if it's ever empty. That's how they're doing it. I mean, that's a bad policy they got. You see, why you want to, to, to have empty houses to sell for, for people who want to buy it and you haven't got, em, em, you, 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 don't want, you, you don't want to rent, to rent for people. And it's the same house that is stand up here empty for, for so many months. Uh, two, four, one, oh. Hello, Hello. Oh, good, um, good afternoon. Hello. I'm inquiring yeah. about the advertisement you had a flat for sale in the Daily Mail on the yes. 26th of the 3rd on Listen Green Estate. Um, could you tell me if, if it, whereabouts on the estate it is, please? Uh, it's in Fulmer. Fulmer House. Fulmer House? Yeah. You know this in Green Estate, obviously. Yes, I live in that area, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And is... Um, do you have to be... Is it one of the flats the council is selling? Um, no, it's one that they have already sold, and it's being... It's a resale. Mm-hmm. Of that. Would you like to come and to see us? Well, um, I'm not sure at the moment, like, I'm just phoning around, sort of checking up on prices and that. Um, do you have to be a council tenant or work for the Westminster oh, no, City Council? No, no, no. No, This is an entirely private sale. And there's no financial assistance to help you then? Well, we can arrange a mortgage for you. You can arrange a mortgage, yes. yeah. And the selling price is 120000 Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Just, just talk about your own personal housing situation. You want to be rehoused, why? For medical reasons. Um, my mother, she's like had a serious major operation last year. And like through that, she has open wounds in her stomach, and needs sterile dressings and a colostomy bag. And the damp, it's no good for sterile dressings when she's got the damp about. What are you hoping for right now? To get a move. A move flat, hopefully. There is one on the estate that's empty, but they just said there's no chance for us getting it because it's for sale. And they offered us that before we got this one and then turned us down and give us this. So... So you were given a substandard damp flat and now an empty flat that you would like remains empty while they are trying to sell it? Yeah, that's right. What does that make you feel about that party? Very annoyed. You go in the office and you talk to them, they just don't listen, it makes you so angry. And they just couldn't care less. And they say, oh, one will turn up eventually, but how? Everywhere, they, everywhere around here now is going to be designated sales eventually. So you're not going to end up here, you'll end up moving out. I'd like to stay around here, I like it around here. But if it come to buying all the time, I couldn't buy, and my mum couldn't buy, and I wouldn't move too far from her anyway, so we don't know where it would be. Do you think that uh, Westminster Council feels that they have any responsibility to council tenants? No, no responsibility, otherwise they wouldn't put the designated sales on the flats. If they had a responsibility, they wouldn't do that. What, just to amplify that, I mean, wh who, where do you think their responsibilities are then, or where their priorities Well, it'd be to business people, 
that will be, be able to use these flats as town flats when they're in London in the week for work and then they've got their place in the country for the weekends. Does it make you fear for the future? Uh, well, it will end up like all posh and to do and everything and people like us, ordinary people, we won't fit in here anymore. We'll be moved on somewhere else. That lady who spoke to you has absolutely nothing to, to fear. If she doesn't wish to buy, then we're delighted for her to remain a council house tenant for as long as she wants to. If she wants to buy, then she'll get all the help and the facilities here that we can give to make her a homeowner. And she needn't have fears because she clearly had them, and I don't think well, she well, of course she's about, got fears because uh, she's been told um, lies and misinformation by those who've got a vested interest in confusing that lady. I, I think that's a very wicked thing to have done. Let's make it absolutely clear our opponents are from the far left of the Labour Party. Uh, they're militant. Uh, run, um, they're far left infiltrated and they are creating the uh, often violent reaction which is something which really appalls most reasonable elected councillors in Westminster and other boroughs. Including, a fairly Mr. including Mr Kinnock. Yes, including Mr Kinnock who actually, actually ca ought to come down here and see how his, his cohorts behave in the council chamber and out on the streets. Good to see you. We have homes all over the city of Westminster with these grills yeah. and with huge metal doors which we'll show you yeah. that are being used for their new policy of selling 10,000 homes a year to anyone who can afford it. From outside the area regardless of anyone the homeless, regardless of Anyone with an offer of a job in else. Westminster or who can show some sort of tenuous link, yeah. that home will sit there empty until yeah. someone with the cash yes, can yeah. buy it. It's a criminal waste right. of money, yeah. Oh. And denying people what? Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll see, we'll see this first. Uh, this is Westminster City Council. Yeah. Right. And that case, we've got any good graveyards I can buy. <laughs> Use 20p, very give good. me four. Yeah. So the, the council wanted to knock all these down. And sell them off. And we persuaded them, with hard campaigning, to repair all these five homes. Yeah. Half a million pounds. They said they never had the money, but we knew they did. It's got all the modern amenities. There's a lot of people on this estate who haven't got bathrooms yet. Yeah. They've been living in these houses since the war, never had a bathroom. And that's because they live in the city of Westminster. Yeah. The council has no plans to sell the Walton estate to a developer. No secret deals have been entered into. No one will be forced to leave the area against their will. Full consultation will take place. This is part of our petition. It's 1,111 signatures. It was signed. It actually mentioned this in your company. It says we don't want you involved in selling off the estates. And that's a letter if you can please hand it to Lord Wendell. Because at the moment, I don't see a tender document anyway. I don't see a deal. So you're saying that if, if we were able to discuss this between the developer and the, and the action group, the residents on the estates, and that we told you what we wanted, and you told us what you could do, and we, in the end, it wasn't satisfactory to us, and you said, well, you know, then you will walk away and you will not touch Walton Elgin. Is that right? That's the sort that of thing right? that I'm prepared to say. Is that a... Oh, yes, it's Walton Elgin actually. Yeah, we've got the point to see Mr. Hill. Thank you. Yeah, let's sit up one end, right? So if we want to take that end, we all go... Right, we've 
they don't want the cameras, so if you can wait for us outside. Okay. <laughs> this statement has just been agreed by Mr Hill of Regalian Properties. After a full discussion between the two parties, it was concluded that there was no basis on which Regalian could be involved if people were forced to move. Accordingly, in line with their stated commitment, Regalian have now agreed to have no further involvement in the current PMI barter scheme. I think basically they have admitted that economically as a company they cannot become directly involved and then commercially offer the houses, say, for a low rent unless subsidy came from elsewhere. We can scare them off. Mm. We can make it difficult for them. Mm. They likely will stay out of it. I think that's, if that's they, the main If the council thing. can't get the private developers involved in this barter deal, see, then it comes back to the fact that they'll have to do it the repairs themselves, out mm. their own monies. And yeah, that's what we're aiming for, to make the council do its work properly as it should do. So they do not like opposition, do they, or public opposition, particularly where evictions are concerned? Well, you have to be involved at all times. And being involved is a way of life. That's the only way you could make it. Well, the main thing we've learned is that direct action works. And if you put the pressure on the people who are trying to make the money, you get results, and that's what we've proved by this whole saga with Regalia. And we haven't seen them off completely, but we've given them a very nasty pasting, and there's no way they can now get involved in this barter deal, this current scheme, and that means that this current scheme has had it. So um, as far as we're concerned, the direct action works, and uh, we've succeeded in our small way here with this particular company. So it's on to the next one. We're going to be doing three targets today. And the first one is Lovells, who are a developer, and they're based in Chiswick, and that's where we're headed now. Now, Lovells are one of the four developers left who are interested in the Walterton and Elgin PMI barter deal, the sell-off deal that's going on. As you know, we already knocked out Regalian, so that means that there are only four left. So that's our first target, is Lovells and Chiswick. OK, let's go. Come on. First floor. First floor. On this series of raids this afternoon, we would like to have a rapid deployment force. Because um, it's, if you think about it, it's no good just going into the office, right, and having a sort of static demo. We want to do what we managed to do at the last one, which was to send detachments of people sort of running through the offices. Um, handing out leaflets. So I think that's particularly appropriate for the younger people because there's a lot of charging up and down stairs and, and running around offices. Hello, we'd like to see one of the oh, managing sorry. directors. Can we see one of the managing directors? We're from the Walton Elgin Estates in Westminster. And is it Mr. Parrott who works excuse here? Me, excuse me, where did he come? Excuse me, would you please Can, can we see, see we just wanted oh, to see Mr. Go. Parrott. Sorry, can we see Mr. Parrott? Oh, can we see Mr. Parrott? We're, all, all we're interested in is that your company doesn't have anything more to do with our estates. We're not interested in causing trouble for your company at all. Um, you know, it's, we, you know, we're here now because you're involved or you're about to tender or could be about to tender for our estates. If you agree not to, then that's fine. You leave you alone and everything. The thing is, we wouldn't want to get into a meeting unless it was worthwhile. I mean, if not, we... Not would I. Right. I'm saying, you know, right. we're, we're both busy, I mean, busy people with busy, right. busy aims and objectives. If, if we understood that you were I mean, prepared we, to actually we, listen to us... Absolutely. That's what I want to do. We're all in charge of this situation. All of us. We're all, that's it. You're all in charge? Yeah, yeah. we're in charge of our homes. Yeah, well, what I'd like to do is just to speak to one of you about what went on at uh, the lodge down the we road We told here. the man what we thought of him. Did you speak to us all? Did you speak to us all? It was very yeah. peaceful. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's very we peaceful. argued with him that we didn't want him to take our homes. He didn't like it. Um, I must point out to you that while you were there, you were trespassing. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Is that, well, is they, uh, they opened the front door to us. Is that a charge? No, it's not a charge. It's civil action. Yeah. And you leave yourself open to civil action by all the right. firm. Yeah. All right? Please, yeah. we'll be taking no proceedings. Oh, that's all right. Oh, good. All right. Get away, Jay. I want to get arrested. Can you stop me? Yeah, you have to go. Yeah. 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 Ye
Would you have, two years ago, thought of doing something like this? No way, no. And I think they're all stupid with all this uh, propaganda. Huh? What do you think? Well, we're not stupid. We're more or less helpless in a way because uh, we haven't got much influence or much money. So we can do is to agitate. We've been sending this letter to your company um, a month ago. We haven't had a response. We represent all the people who live on those two estates, right? And your company is going to tender when you get the documents. Well, we don't know who you are, but we know that you're one of the four. You're one of the four prospective tenderers. Right? Well, that's the case. And we've come here just to say, well, please don't get involved. What did you think of these developers when you met them? Well, they're just callous, they don't, they've got no feelings for people such as in our situation. All they're interested in is, uh, you know, making money. I think they're dreadful people. I really do, as you say, they're out to make big profits, aren't they? At the price of us poor people, who we can't afford to buy. I'm a widow now, my husband died three years. Now I've got no man behind me to help me with anything now anymore. If he was alive, it would be different. Do you think they have any interest in uh, ordinary people's costs? Oh, no, of course it's not. They're not. You can't expect them to be interested in me, can you? Not this day and age. Yeah. Selfish. It's selfish greed. The whole country's like that. It's greed, greed, greed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Can I ask the Chairman of the Planning and Development Committee and Deputy Leader of the Council, Councillor Weeks, to introduce the new City of Westminster District Plan? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what is the ideal resident that should be living in Westminster? Middle-income people are the sort of people who uh, live uh, or want to live and have jobs in central London. In the district plan, uh, we define or refer to two groups of people who have to work in central London. One is MPs and the second are, are waiters. So it's uh, that sort of uh, income level that we're talking about. And it's a question of political judgment as to which groups one promotes within that. I mean, just on the, the question of the estates, having looked at them, there seems to be a hidden agenda. The, the plan is to run these estates down and make them attractive for developers to move in once demoralised tenants have moved out. I think you uh, mistake the policy. It's not to sell uh, uh, flats to developers. It's to sell to individual residents who want to use it as uh, their permanent residence. Those are the people we want to encourage uh, to, to move in. And those are the people to whom they'll be sold, not developers. Uh, this is flat 12 one of seven show flats in the development. It's all been restored by Regalian. Come through and I'll show you the accommodation. This is flat 12 at Gladstone Court. On the market, 299,500. It's been interior designed by Carlton Classics. Um, we're in the reception room at the moment. This is the master bedroom suite of flat 12 at Glaston Court. We have sold 10 flats to date in this development to an MP and for rental investment to overseas buyers. A real mixture actually because they are very nice units um, well placed for Timlico and Westminster, especially the Houses of Parliament, and very close to Vincent Square, which is a lovely garden square. Um, and it is very, very quiet here as well. it seems that there's a policy that unless you're rich and prosperous, there's no home for you in Westminster. But what we said was that uh, it made no sense to house people uh, who had no economic connection with the centre of London in the uh, centre of London. You know, it makes sense to do it in places where a better environment can be created. What is your own relationship to developers? I mean, what are your relationship to a developer like Lovells, for example? Uh, well, you know very well that I work for the Lovell Group. I mean, doesn't that give you a vested interest in policies like this? No, it doesn't at all, because, I mean, a any councillor knows that you can't have uh, conflict of interests, and uh, I, I would not be part of any arrangement which involves levels in Westminster.
Well, there's a man with his fingers in everybody's pie. I hope he watches some of them sometimes. He talks for money by talking, he eats. He talks to keep himself up of the streets. Well, if there's anything you need, he'll pretend he's got it. And then he'll pretend that he can't part with it. He studied hunger like a lawyer studies law. He can make a rich man poor and poor because he's a shark. Slag on. A two ton gobble dealing. A money grabber is a shark. Slag on. A two ton gobble dealing. A money grabber well, makes two look just like free. With a jiggery pokery. Make a bad thing look good to me. With a jiggery pokery. The wrong side is right You'll make her believe A black horse is white Whatever he sells You don't be surprised you find yourself Cheating half out of your eyes It's when he sells you things He'll hide the price He wants the whole loaf He ain't content with a slice He makes his girls dance While he's one right now I swear it's just right If it lacks 40 pounds We'll be selling